Today's topic is about buyer love letters. To borrow a phrase from the kinks, should they stay or should they go? So stick around. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, it's Brad Cox from the Vesta Group of Long and Foster, and today's Wednesday wisdom topic is buyer love letters. We see these crop up in very competitive markets. Buyers are trying to position their offer to be as competitive as possible, and they'll write these long glowing letters about the property to the homeowner with the hopes that that will help to get their offer accepted. They'll often include such things as information about their family, or where their kids go to school, or the church that they attend that's right around the corner. And why is that a problem? I think you understand what I'm getting at. There are a number of protected classes protected by federal law. Race, color, national origin, religion, sex, familial status, disability, and then other protected classes that can be covered under state or local statute as well. And they're, they're created for a reason. It's because we have a history of fair housing violations in this country, and we need to make housing equal for everyone. This practice of sending buyer love letters, I'm going to say I think it's an outdated practice. I think it has no place in our society, given our awareness and recognition of the history of fair housing issues that we've experienced here. And I think it's, it's a mistake and it's inviting a lawsuit. So my advice to buyers and to sellers is let the offer stand on its own. Compete with what is written into the contract. What are the terms? What is the price? Look at those factors and those factors alone when determining whether you're going to accept a particular offer. To do anything else creates an unfair environment that makes housing discrimination much more possible. Maryland Realtors recently came out in opposition of the buyer letters and there was an article in Realtor Magazine that detailed their position on this. Buyers, find a way to make your offer stand out without using a letter. And sellers, if you receive offers, I recommend that you have your realtor hold them and do not read them. Look at the details of the offer only when you're making your choice. I'll get off my soapbox now, but I invite your comments below. And while you're here, if you found this information to be useful, please like and comment and hit the subscribe button and feel free to share it with anyone else who you feel may benefit from it as well. Thanks for watching.